This is Pochita Fling, a Chainsaw Man arcade game that I made in just 24 hours. Your goal is to basically fling Pochita around to attack enemies, dodge bullets, and see how long you can survive for. I had a total blast making this game, so I decided to make a devlog showcasing how I even made it. So how exactly did I achieve this? Well firstly, let's talk about how I planned the game. Like all my other games, I always start off with a very rough design document and gameplay sketch, so let's go over that. Immediately off the bat, I knew I wanted to make a game starring Pochita, as he's a simple enough design and he's very popular. I also decided that it would be a survival hack and slash game with simple controls and arcade style scoring, as I felt it would be simple enough to accomplish in those 24 hours. After coming up with this, I drew up a gameplay sketch. Basically, the entire game would revolve around pulling back and firing Pochita to attack different enemies. The further you pull back, the farther you'd launch yourself, similar to a game like Angry Birds. I also decided to encourage killing and moving, that there'd be stationary targets which would go off randomly, and that your health and blood meter would constantly be depleting, thus forcing you to move to attack enemies to regain health. I also drew up a very rough title screen detailing that it'd have a high score system and a skin selector just for fun. Plus, I decided early on that the title would be something like Pochita Slash, Pochita Fling, or Pochita Massacre. I ended up going for Pochita Fling because it really just has a nice ring to it. So with the plan decided, let's get on to how I actually made the game. First up, I had to make the most important mechanic being the actual flinging. To make it easy for everyone to understand, the way this was done was by creating a line from the player to the mouse, calculating the distance between the line and the player, and implying an impulse based on the distance. In the engine, flinging takes in two parameters, one being the impulse amount, and the second being the angle. The angle in this case would be the angle that the mouse was currently at, minus 180 degrees, since the player should be launched in the opposite direction. So, with this basic explanation in mind, here's what the first build of the game looked like. It's nothing fancy, but you can fling this ball around and have it bounce off the walls on the side. With that out of the way, the next few builds mainly focused on enemies. Firstly, I wanted to test to see if I should make the enemies bounce off of each other and the player, and alongside this I made some quick prototype art for Pochita. And it ended up looking quite funny, so I actually kept this for quite some time. After this, I added the ability for Pochita's angle to match up nicely with the cursor, and a fading effect giving you a sense of speed. Next up, I went ahead and created a blood splatter effect for whenever you kill an enemy, and it turned out really satisfying. Next, I decided to work on a bit of art for the game, mainly for the title screen and Pochita himself. Here's what both of those ended up looking like. Alongside the art, I went ahead and implemented a few gameplay additions as well. I added a countdown feature for the beginning, plus those bullet barrages which would end up being really deadly later on down the road. Plus, I implemented the blood health feature making it constantly deplete and have it be restored when you killed an enemy. After this, I implemented the second enemy type which would be indicated by the B on them, and had them fire bullets towards Pochita, adding a bit more variety to the game. Now, I had to come up with some actual enemies, so I made a simple zombie sprite for the first type of enemy, seeing as there have been quite a few zombies in the actual show, and a gun with feet for the second type. It's kinda random, but it fits alright since there's this whole hunt going on for the gun devil, right? Anyways, the next massive gameplay element I implemented was essentially these waves. Basically, the longer you survive in the game, the more frantic the game would get. For instance, Wave 1 would just have some normal enemies, and Wave 5 would have everything activated. So not only does it make it more challenging to survive, but it rewards players allowing more consecutive kills to be made. It doesn't outright say what wave it is in the game, but you can tell the difference between them quite easily. Also, when I was testing this, I messed up something badly and basically made this build where too many enemies kept spawning, but it was really satisfying to just plow through them all. After this, I made a proper background for the title screen and game, and implemented a bunch of sound effects I made using BFXR, and after creating all those sound effects, the 24 hours I gave myself were up, and this is what the game looked like at the end of it. Basically, I had a working menu, scoring system, and gameplay loop. So with that, I have a bit of a confession to make. I actually spent more time afterwards making the game even better. I know, shocking, right? While I was proud of what I made in that time period, I decided that I should take the time afterwards to add a bit more in terms of polishing, 
Plus, I can't really release a game that doesn't even have a proper wall texture simply because I forgot about it, and there wasn't even a proper skin system implemented in this. So don't worry, I didn't change anything drastically that impacts gameplay, I left all that the same to be fair. Anyways, the first thing that I actually spent quite a bit of time on was transcribing and remixing Chainsaw Man's opening kickback into a chiptune style track. Here's just a short preview of the song. Also, I needed some music for the menu, so I basically took the first chunk of the song, slowed it down, and removed the main track, and it ended up sounding like this. After this, I implemented the music into the game quite easily, alongside an option to actually mute the music in case you want to listen to your own song in the background. Besides the music, I really wanted to implement a ton of skins just for fun, so I spent quite a bit of time designing some fun and unique ones. First up, I designed some basic color swaps. These didn't take long to do at all since they literally are just color swaps. Next up, I knew I had to include some more Chainsaw Man references. So, I designed a skin for both Denji and Power as they are basically the stars of the show, and fit in perfectly. The next category of skins are what I'm dubbing to be in the category of cute mascot characters. This includes Kirby, Pikachu, Chopper from One Piece, and QB from Madoka Magica. Next up are my personal favorites. If you know me, you know how much I love the Yakuza series. So, I designed three costumes styled around Kiryu, Majima, and Ichiban. Finally, we have the meme category, as I'll call it. This features Spamton, Mr. Beast, and the original prototype art of Pochita. In total, there are 21 different costumes to choose from, and each costume gets their own background as well. Pick your favorite one and get flinging. So yeah, with all these skins implemented, the game was complete. So I went ahead and made the game's itch.io page with a Windows build, browser build, and an Android build meaning you can literally play this on pretty much any device. Go check it out, download it, fling yourself around, and let me know what your high score is. I think overall it's a super fun game, but don't take my word for it. Hi there, I'm Mr. Beast. Be sure to download Jeff's new game, Podchina Fling. It is very swag and fun. Be sure to like and subscribe to Jet Li, and you'll be as cool as me, Mr. Beast. So yeah, as always, there's a link in the description that'll take you directly to the game's page, so go ahead and play it. And if you have any interest in any of my other games, be sure to check those out as well. As always, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.